Welcome back. So if you're watching this video on Wednesday, October 19th, 2022, the Halloween sale for Olight is going on right now. And if you're new to Olight or new to flashlights in general, you might go to their website and be just a little bit overwhelmed. Olight literally releases a new flashlight every month, if not two or three. They're either releasing a new flashlight, such as the brand new Javelot Mini, which I have right here, and we'll start talking about it very shortly, or another version of an older flashlight. So you might or might not be just a little bit overwhelmed so I decided to do a video comparing some of my favorite Olights here and not only are these some of my favorite newer flashlights from Olight but they all have a slightly different purpose and functionality in how you carry them so let's start with this one right here this is the Olight Baton 3 Pro this is more of an everyday carry flashlight uh, 1500 lumens it has 175 meters of throw and if you guys saw my video on this you're gonna know that I love the choice of different emitter color temperatures this is the neutral white version. It also has five different modes plus strobe and everything is activated and controlled with a single side switch right there. And now let's look at the Seeker 3. I bought this a while back and never did a video on it. 4200 lumens, it has a 250 meter throw. It also has five lighting modes and a single side switch, but this side switch here is a little bit special. You can see your battery status right there with those four LEDs and if you hold it down, you can see what lighting mode you're on just by those LEDs right there on the side. If you double press, there's turbo, everything will be lit up. So I love this side switch, very bright flashlight. And the Seeker 3 is very good for utility use and anything outdoors, not necessarily an everyday carry flashlight like the Baton 3 Pro here. And then the Olight Warrior 3 right here, this is considered a tactical flashlight. Um, one of my favorite tactical flashlights out right now, but by far my favorite tactical flashlight from Olight. It has 2300 lumens, a 300 meter throw, and it has a very similar side switch to the Seeker 3 Pro right here where it shows your battery life right there on the side and what mode you're in, but it doesn't have a turn dial like the Seeker 3 Pro where you can actually adjust the output just by twisting the side switch there, which is completely fine. The Warrior 3 makes up for that by giving us a side switch and a tail switch here. And what makes this a tactical flashlight in my opinion is this really aggressive crenellated bezel right here and the instant access to turbo just by full pressing the tail switch right here and it's a little bit clicky but for the most part pretty silent. Now a little bit later on in this video I'll do a beam test and comparison with all four of these flashlights on this table but let's jump into the brand new release from Olight right here. This is the Javelot Mini. Now this is an ultra compact version of their Javelot flashlight. And if you guys are familiar with that, you're gonna notice that right away. The Javelot Mini is only 4.53 inches long, so it's pretty compact. Now the Javelot Mini is Olight's very first long range EDC flashlight. So they are considering this an everyday carry flashlight. But you're gonna see this is basically a combination of those other three flashlights that I just showed you earlier. Meaning you can carry this every day because of its compact pack size. It does have some tactical elements here with this crenellated bezel and the instant access to strobe here just by fully pressing in the tail switch. And because of its long throwing distance, it could be used for law enforcement, search and rescue, and for hunting. So this is a very nice, well-rounded flashlight. And I am really excited about this flashlight. I've had this for about a week now and I can't say enough good things about it. So why is that? Let's start at the beginning. It is a 1000 lumen flashlight. It has a 600 meter throw on high. So this is why Olight's calling this their first long range everyday carry flashlight. Also it's Olight first everyday carry flashlight with a round emitter. So if I can get in there, hopefully it'll focus. I'll try to punch in a little bit. You can see that emitter right there is round and that does some pretty nice things to the beam profile. It makes for a very crisp and uniform hotspot and outer perimeter. So hopefully you guys are as impressed with this beam as I was when I first saw it. Now currently it's only available in two different colors, the black version with the blue bezel as you see right here, and there's an OD green version as well. The body here is made from aluminum, and I'm not really sure what they did here with the finish, but it is awesome. If I bring in the Baton 3 Pro here, you can see it is fairly glossy of a body, which makes it a little bit slippery. Um, the knurling right here where you hold it on the body is very nice, very, very grippy on the body, but if you just slide your thumb across it, it does feel fairly slippery, but when you come to the Javelot Mini, 
It feels like it has a textured coating on it, and I can't really put my finger on what they did here. Especially right here on the body, it just feels extremely grippy. It almost has a little bit of sheen to it. It's not exactly matte. I don't know, whatever they did here, it feels super high quality and actually one of my favorite finishes I've seen in a long time on a flashlight. And the shape and design of the Javelot Mini here is very well done. It feels very comfortable to hold it in your hands. And I think that has a lot to do with the size of the head here and how it sort of opens up a little bit at the tail. So you guys can see what I'm talking about right there and just by that tail cap opening up on the bottom makes it very nice to tail stand it. And speaking of this tail cap here, check this out. So the button itself is actually flat, but slightly concave and it's all pushed in. So if I hold it completely parallel like that, you can't see that button at all because the button is pushed down into the tail cap. And because of that design, it just feels very natural when I'm holding it like this and pushing in that button with my thumb. I think it's a great design. And just like every other Olight, that is a magnetic button. So you just have to get that button just remotely close to the magnetic charger there and it will start charging. Oh, and I almost forgot. So let me bring in the box. This is the box that Javelot Mini came in. Always very nice packaging, but the holster that it came with, yes, it does come with the magnetic charger, but the holster that the Javelot Mini comes with might be my favorite holster yet. I don't know the exact material, but it feels like a very high quality molded plastic. And it's a very interesting design here. So you can see the clip right here where it fits on your belt. Put the flashlight in where it just clicks into place just like that. But check this out. When it's in the holster, you can still charge it just based on this open bottom design of the holster here. So I thought that was a fantastic design and this is leaps and bounds above any of those nylon holsters that you get, which I'm generally not a fan of. So I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually like one of the holsters that Olight's giving with the flashlight. So let's check out the battery here real quick. You can see there is no spring on the tail cap here. And this is an odd battery. It's an 18500, 2040 milliamp hour, 3.6 volt proprietary lithium ion battery. And they call this a customized battery, but it's a proprietary battery that is only used with this flashlight. And they make sure of that by putting on this special black ring right there. Some of you guys that don't like proprietary batteries, might not be into this flashlight just because of that reason. And I know you guys are out there. And of course you have Olight's proprietary magnetic charger, which I have so many Olights at this point. This is quite commonplace in my house, but if you only have one Olight or two Olights, you might be a little bit annoyed that it doesn't have USB type C charging, which once again, I completely understand. But for someone like me, I don't mind the proprietary batteries or the magnetic charger here. And now take a look at this bezel. This is a really interesting bezel here, just the design itself. That's pretty unique. I think it looks great. And yes, this bezel does screw off here. So if you guys wanted to mod this in any way, that is possible. And maybe I can give you guys a closer look at that circle emitter, that round emitter in there. Man, that is awesome. But let's start talking about the UI here. The UI is very, very, very straightforward. So of course, everything is controlled right here with a single tail switch. If you wanna hit low, you just have to give that tail switch just a little half press and there is low. Now on low, that's 200 lumens. It has a runtime of four hours and 57 minutes and it has a throw of 267 meters. And if you wanna activate high, you just have to give it a full press it clicks in, there's our high 1000 lumens, 600 meter throw, and it has a runtime of only six and a half minutes. But as you see by the box here, I'll show you guys the box. There are some step downs right there. So it steps down from 1000 to 500 to 200 lumens right there. So the UI is very, very simple. There's no strobe, only low and high. Half press or a full press gets you to those modes. And another thing I thought was cool about the Javelot Mini is it does have that vibrating feature where if it's getting low on the battery, it'll vibrate either once or twice or keep vibrating to let you know that it's on low battery power. Now that's usually reserved for Olight's higher end flashlight. So I was really 
really happy to see that put into the Javelot Mini. Now you're gonna see with all of these flashlights, they're all IPX8, either IPX8 or IP68. If there's an X there, that means the dust proofing wasn't tested, but the eight means it's submersible in up to six feet of water, which is fantastic. And they all have a 1.5 meter impact resistance, so they can handle a drop or two. But now that's out of the way, let's take the Javelot Mini and compare it with these other three flashlights. I'm gonna show you how awesome this beam is. All right, so the video you just watched was from last night. I couldn't come out and do the beam test last night because it was pouring. I waited for tonight, which is the 18th, the day before for this video has to be out it's still raining but i kind of caught a little break so i'm gonna try to do this really quick this is the olight baton 3 i'm gonna put it right on turbo and i'll put up the distance between here and those trees and you can just see the beam of this baton 3 one of my favorite edc lights um you can see that spill the hot spot is huge so a very nice beam profile here on the Olight Baton 3 Pro. Sorry if I said Baton 3 earlier. That is the Baton 3 Pro. All right, next, this is the Olight Seeker 3 Pro. And I'm gonna put this right on turbo. Oh my goodness. So obviously this has a lot more lumens, a little bit more throw than that Baton 3 Pro there. Um, this is an awesome light. Like I said, not necessarily an everyday carry flashlight, but this is good for searching, uh, good to have in your backpack for camping. You can see it just lights up basically everything. Um, a little bit bigger, this is the biggest, chunkier, chunkiest light of the four, I should say. Um, I think the Warrior Three is a little bit longer, but you can see, that I do like this one here because it has this turn dial and you can see I'm just turning down the brightness level there, which is really, really cool. And sorry about the rain guys, I'm trying to get this done, but it gives you a good idea what this Seeker 3 Pro beam looks like. Next, let's go to the Olight Warrior 3 here, which is more of a tactical light and go right to turbo. And then this is a very nice beam profile as well. Um, a little bit tighter of a hot spot, but it still has that nice spill as you can see. Man, give you guys a nice little pan around. And keep in mind the color temperatures too. That Baton 3 Pro was a neutral white, and these are more of a cool white beam. So you can see that beam there. Now let's go to the Javelot Mini. So the Javelot Mini is my favorite beam profile of them all and just check out that spot and this is what I was talking about with that round emitter and this is low by the way and look how crisp and uniform that hot spot is and look at that perimeter it is super sharp and crispy I absolutely love it if I point it in the air just look at how nice that is and I love this little light here I can't say enough about this um, let me go right to high and boom. So if I stand here, I can point this down. Those trees back there are about 400 meters away and this is a 600 meter throw. So you can see I am definitely kissing those trees. Hopefully you can see it. I know the rain is a little bit of pain in the butt right now and I'm really sorry about that. I'm trying to get this video done before the sale tomorrow night. Um, uh, I can only do what I can do. And guys, you're not gonna be using this light in perfect conditions at all times either. Uh, I live near Buffalo, New York, and this is just something we gotta deal with. But you guys can see why I like this beam profile so much. So which one do you guys like the best? I am choosing the Javelot Mini here as my favorite beam profile of all those lights, and I like all of those beam profiles, but I think this trumps them all. So Olight's Halloween sale starts today if you're watching this video when I release it on 1019 at 8 p.m. And it goes till Friday, October 21st at 1159 p.m. And that's all Eastern Daylight Time. If you're a previous member, they're gonna give you a free gift, this Zombified i3e here. 
Check that out, that's pretty cool. And if you're a new customer, they're gonna give you an i3e, just a black version. And during the sale, you can grab a Javelot Mini for $74.99, that's 20 bucks off. Usually retails for $99.99, so if you guys wanna grab one of these, this is the time to do it. I will have links and discount codes down below in my description box. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the Olight Javelot Mini? Now, as I said, if you guys wanna check this out for yourself, I will have links down below in my description box and all the information for the sale will be down there too. But if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!